I said the ad break is over. What ad break? Ah, oh, I'm Web and I'm not in charge of the stream. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Now watch. Uh, here, I'll uh, I'll redeem the hydrate for you guys so you can see. Pay attention to the um. Ow. Did you did you see? Did you see me get smacked in the head? Wait, I, I don't think I saw a bottle fly. All right, let's try it again. Oh, there's a cooldown. Oh, I'm gonna drink some water anyways. Uh, I have a cooldown because I don't want people to spam hydrate like they did before. I've always had to pee so bad because everybody would like mass spam hydrate to the point where there was none towards the end of the stream. So I had to like savor them throughout the stream. I was like, okay, you guys redeemed 10 hydrates in a row. Now I gotta space those out a little bit. Funny thing. Yeah. What's up? Croissant. Croissant. <laughs> Making sure they can hear. Webby. They can. We're good to go. Also, everybody, I need you to do me a favor right now. And just go click on that one point Hayashi, please. I was talking to my wife the other night as we were trying to come up with different wraps for lunch. Yeah. I'm clicking it. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. It's me. It's me. <laughs> I just love that there, so much. There we go. I just find it hysterical. My brain made a, a funny thinking taco wrap. Taco's already a wrap. Yeah. Well, what kind of taco wrap were you were you thinking of? You know what? Next time we get like a bunch of raiders, just like, hey raiders, please <laughs> use a one point and just press that hello button for me, please. I would actually probably cry because it would be hilarious, but also very loud and very annoying. Anyways, hi guys, it's Monday and I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, I think we're all tired here. Yeah. Ow. Been smacked by bears. How unbearable. Is Hydrate still on cooldown? It's not. See, there's a water bottle. It smacked me in the head. My friend Paladin made that water bottle. But today we are playing The Messenger. And it basically starts right away as soon as I get into the game. Yeah. So I had to close it twice. Once to get the auto audio to work the second time because I didn't realize it actually started. I'm gonna be pulling my wife around Sky later. Should get a group for Sky, yes. I, I would love to. I love. I I, oh, I haven't played Sky in a bit. I'm going to have to like buy candles in order to get the seasonal cape. Because I need it. it. It reminds me of uh, this one sash. So it's like, ah, I need it. <laughs> but I haven't been playing. None of my kiddos are really playing right now. She is scaredy, so I'm gonna have to pull her through the spooky. Oh, I'll help you. Tomorrow, let's do it. What's tomorrow, Tuesday? I'm free tomorrow. <laughs> I don't typically stream Tuesdays, so. Down to hang out, down to pull people through Sky. Hello. It's me. It's me. me. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I don't really have a whole lot to ad for the day other than yay monday boo monday <laughs> i am participating in singing march um for any of you who are not in the discord or following me on my singing youtube i also post them on twitter they're awful they're very bad today's is like oh i shouldn't post today's at all but i'm doing it anyways because i'm committing to every day this month even if it says break so uh yeah anyways my, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be dead by the end of the month, <laughs> which also I turned older this month. Oh, yeah. What day? What day? Tell us. 
Am I streaming on that day? What day is it? Tell me. Like an hour or two after St. Patty's. Uh, my calendar doesn't tell me when St. Patty's Day is. So please tell me what day that is. Maybe the 17th, maybe? Like, no. Uh. St. Patty's is the 17th. Nice guess, Web. So 18th. Uh, I oh, am yes. streaming that day. Okay, winter. So for you, um, I will give you a complimentary redeem. Uh, you can see here, I actually have some new redeems uh, since the last time I did stuff. And I have one called Make a Wish. And if you click it, it says birthday wish rules apply. It will change it to this screen that we currently have going on here. And uh, mark calendars to dodge that day. Excuse me. I'm trying to do something nice for you. I'm not going to like sing you happy birthday or something. So this is the plan. We're going to break down Winter's Door and we're going to we're going to give him a good old dance. <laughs> now, what we're going to do is you can have a wish on stream, but you don't have to say your wish. Birthday wish rules apply. You'll just you'll just tell me and then we'll wish. <laughs> Man, my dogs would get overexcited if you came barging <laughs> in. <laughs> I swallowed one. That's fine. Just it means you're you're living those dreams. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your dreams are now inside of me. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, so, anyways, I'm putting that away. <laughs> But yeah, it'll be fun. I won't make a big deal about it. It'll just, you know, you have a second to just do what you want. It's hot in here. Yeah? It's like 55. Oh, I should open my window. Go open a window. <sighs> yeah. They love people. Yeah. But if any of you come into this house, you'll be required to hold a six foot danger noodle. Is it a snake? Is it friendly? Can I pet it? Yes, with rem and wood and stuff. Oh yeah, that was. So your dogs are like. That was. Run, uh... run, 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 run. Yeah, we're not, we're not married quite yet. We're engaged. Um, as of uh, two twenty two twenty two, so it has been two years officially. Oh yeah, I made, I made a, a personal video for that too. He did, and I cried. That's why I was saying congrats. Thank you. Very friendly snake. Boop, 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 easily. All right. Bet. But only if I can wear it as a hat. I'm going to put it on my head. And have, like, a snake hat. Please say yes. I love, I love how, like, all these pin messages in the general is, like, me re recording or saying something. Hey, I like them. I think they're cute. Uh, and I love how, okay, 2 9 20, 24, I have the same shirt on in the same day on the 20, <laughs> on February 22nd. Yeah. I guess you just like to record in that shirt. Well, what are the chances? <laughs> I don't know about the other 11 snakes. They vary. Mm. Okay, well, I want to hold the nice one and I want to wear it as a hat. That's the only condition. And then I get to pet them with the dogs. I literally almost freaking cried recording that one. Dude, I almost cried too. <laughs> but like, so the song choice you picked normally doesn't affect me, right? Because I can listen to that song on repeat for the entirety of a work day uh -huh. and be completely unaffected because I don't have a connection to the character it's about. I have a connection to you and I have a connection to Rem. So you picking that song, an emotional feelsy song, <laughs> and I'm just like, uh. <laughs> Keep I love the name Kiwi. Kiwi so cute. I don't have my filters on, I just realized. Hold on a second. I don't want to be peeking every 30 minutes. There we go. How's that guy's sound? Kiwi's the best for booping, but for a hat, it would be Pepper Jack. Okay, so I'll hold Pepper Jack on my head and make a nice hat, and then I'll boop Kiwi. I want to open a window and get my water. I'll be right back. Take your time.
Sounds like a good plan to me. You should send me pictures of the snakies. I'm always down for snakes. And snacks. Maybe not snacks and snakes, though. That might be a little... Mm. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not going to eat your snakes. I'm not that crazy. Maybe. I'm kidding. <laughs> I really like how this model moves. Sorry, I'm having too much fun. I have a lot of energy for the, despite the fact that I want to lay down and go to bed. <laughs> is, that, is that weird? Just the snackies or you want pics? Oh, snakies. Or you want pics of the crested geckos, tortoise, bearded dragons, chuby frog, spiny tailed lizard, cats and dog. Yes. Yes. <laughs> My DM is open. Give. Give all of them. And names. So I know who I'm fangirling about. I don't care if I end the stream and I have 50 messages because you have 50 animals. I, I want them all. Give them to me. Give. I only have Bear. <laughs> My handsome boy. And Rum. He's a cat boy. <laughs> The count is approximately 24. That's a lot of pets. They don't try to eat each other. They're 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 friendly. They're non-hostile towards each other. I don't know, I'd be a little concerned. Just a little. They're in their own habits. Habitats? Habitats. Alright. Well, that's reassuring. I have to remember that chat is this way. So, like, I can actually pretend like I'm looking at it if I'm here in the center. Except dogs and cats. Are they home? Are they in the house? Do they get to love on you? They are indoor, and yes, they are very loving. Heck yeah. Do you have a tiger? <laughs> you should get a cat. You should name it Tiger. And it should be like an orange cat. <laughs> so that way you can add that to your add to your list. And people will be like, you have a tiger? No, I have tiger. What, what do you mean? <laughs> and it would be really funny to like try to explain it to people. So yeah, I have uh <laughs> I, I have snakes and crested geckos and tortoise and bearded dragons and chuby frogs and spiny tailed lizards and cats and dogs and tiger and just like just name tiger just like name drop him and people are gonna be like and a tiger no and tiger <laughs> the smallest snake is named spud I love that give him to me I want to see I want to see this line the tiny snake well tiny tiny bean I love I love snakes I like snakes and hats I think those are cute. Do you put hats on your snakes? Please say yes. Do you dress them up in little tiny noodle right, clothes? I'm here. I am fangirling about snakes. I'm a snake. Wait, Winter! Would you still love me if I was the worm? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I am snake now. <laughs> Number one worm. Number one worm. Oh boy, I saw this. <laughs> I have too much fun with this model. I wish I could be like wrapped like within your like coiled worm self. Yeah. You know what? I'll do you one better. Where is uh? Discord, group reactive, whoops. Can't do it because uh, the background's actually on the um, thing. Oh, 
thing I'm using. My VTube oh. Studio. There you go. Now I'm on your head. Biggest neck. 7.5 feet boa constrictor. Ooh, that sounds scary. I'm chilling on Webb's head. Hey, guys. <laughs> what are you doing up there? Oh, you know, I'm hanging. Just chilling, really. He's very friendly and chill. Good. That sounds scary. And old. Okay, that's probably why he's friendly and chill, then. Nom 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 nom. I just had a nature brain bar, so that'll keep me uh, good for the rest of the night. Nice. <laughs> I'm chilling on your head. We. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyways, let's get on ready over to the game. Okay. I love having everything hotkeyed. It makes my life so much easier. Whoops. So you guys are going to see me twice. Ignore that me. That's not the real me. This is the real me. Over, over here. Not over there. Anyways. Oh, oh, yeah. Don't forget to stream the game then, too. I know. I have to open the game. Whoop. You know, she is now playing The Messenger. Try my best here because I'm still slightly congested. That's fine. Okay, at the western edge of a fallen world lies a cliffside village because I can't figure out where the game is. Uh, harboring the last survivors of the human race, those who chose exile over death. There we go. They train day and night, confined to their hideout, their legacy, cursed survival, their sole purpose. Hydrid. Legend warns of the demon army bound to strike again, eager to completely eradicate humans. This game is so loud. Fortunately, legend also tells of a hero flying in, the in from the western ocean to bring protection and knowledge. On the day that begins, like so many others, a young ninja is about to be visited by the western hero. The game isn't showing for you guys. And sent on a perilous journey into the merciless world to carry a scroll paramount to the clan's survival. Mystic Messenger. No, it's not just me. Nom, nom, nom. My dumb butt thought I put the thing on, the sound, and I didn't. Uh, let me make sure that worked. Dum -ba -da -dum -dum, dum -dum -dum. Can you guys hear this? No. All right, hold on. Let me close out of that. Open it again. Alrighty, let's see if that worked. Oh, now there's double Ashi. No, no, no. There's one me. The other one doesn't exist. There we go. Now the she audio is heard. Anything. Okay, we'll go click on VTube Studio, and then we will go back and click on the messenger, and that should hopefully fix it. There we go. Oh, whoopsies. So now we can stream to web. Web, is this working? Um, I'll be back. Take your time. And then can you see the game? Okay. Yes. Awesome. Sound works here. Yes. Yipper. Awesome. Uh, play. All right. We are a okay. We are good to go. We are a one, two, three, a four, five, six. 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Totally. What is your name? Should I do Yashiaya or Shia? Probably Shia. All right, people with these, they're go live messages, I swear. Yeah? Clickbait. Oh, yeah. Someone, or anonymous gift you a tier three, and it's like, watch now, or like, click here to watch. Like, oh, you know what? Yeah, it's so like, uh Or sent you a friend request. Don't do that to me. <laughs> you want to be friends? No, mine's uh, make a wish. And mine goes live. Which I think it's funny that my raid message is then a wish is granted. Full circle. Anyways. Wish granted. I'm going to have to turn this down a little bit. Sorry. There we go. That's much better. I can now talk. Another day and still no sign of this so-called Western hero. Training used to be fun, but all we do now is memorize boring pr prophecies. Demon army this and magic scroll that. Nothing's happened in centuries. So why are we still hiding? I wish I could just leave this place and go explore the world. Gather around, everyone. History lesson is about to begin. Uh, oh great, another lecture. I guess I should at least show up this time. Okay, so this is more of a side scroller. Yeah. Hello, fellow ninjas. I might dress different. Uh, that's you. Oh. <clears throat> right on time to try the new course. Show us your cloud step technique. Jump, hit, jump. Bet. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> How do you hit... Ah. There we go. Here. The keys are weird. You know what? It's fine. I feel like this should be played on like a like a SNES controller or something. It should be played on wow! not my keyboard. <laughs> look, look who decided to grace us with their presence. Look. I love how I have a different pose than everybody else. Uh. <laughs> have you done your reading? Um. <laughs> eh? Ever the rebel. Rebel. What's the point? All we do is rot in this hideout anyway. I see that the importance of our ancestors' wisdom is lost on you. But let me assure you that the threat of the demon army is very real. And should they... Huh? They have returned! This is all wrong! The Western hero was supposed to save us! Watch out! Oh boy. Everyone's dead. Oh, hello. I'm not ready. Burn it all. Bring the humans to their knees. Not so fast, big boy. Oh, who might you be? Uh. Are you really all they've got? Um. <laughs> Pathetic. Prepare to die. No. That sound impossible. Uh, 
it seems luck is with you on this day. Barma Thazel. Do you know? Yes, <laughs> my king. Um, you're gonna want to do a different voice for him. I know who that is because Ram accidentally spoiled it. Oh. It's from Sea of Stars. He's yes, the only character king. we didn't see at the end. The only character. Mm hmm. We, uh. Yeah. You want me to spoil it? Or you want to? I don't think yeah, it tells you. Got... you. Go ahead. That's Brew Graves. Oh, shh. Okay. Yeah. You, you could do it's like a slightly deeper voice for him, but I was just letting you know that's him. Yes, my king. Keep an eye on this worm. Worm. Certainly, my king. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. He didn't want to remember anything. Now it all makes sense. Mm -hmm. Count your blessings, ninja. My minions will make short work of you in the autumn hills. Are you? The Western hero. Something like that. Ah! Druid would still love me if I was a worm. Number one worm. Number one worm? <laughs> to be honest, I got here way too late. As you look like most, uh, as you look like the most capable around here, I have a task of the utmost importance for you. Take this scroll and carry it across the island. You need to reach Glacial Peak Summit, where three sages will be waiting for you. But who are you? Why is this scroll important? You'll find answers along the way. Head for the village gate now. The Shroud of the Night will be your only protection to make it through the holes. Godspeed, messenger. You got the scroll. You have been chosen to be the messenger, tasked with carrying the scroll across your cursed world. Alright. Um, can I? Ah. Up, down, left, right. Lightfoot tool. Lightful tabby? I don't know what that is. Um. Rope dart, alt, left, alt. Left control for attack. Interesting. I'm going to click change this to Z. Can I? There we go. And left shift is right there. I can click that easily. Left alt is right there. I can click that easily. Okay. Everything else I'm cool with. I just... I can't use the attack button where it was. That's so much better. That makes it a little easier for that jump attack. Yeah, that's so much better. Enter the ninja. Beat the intro without dying. Nice! I didn't realize you can die there. Oh, yeah. Dude, I love this old, like, Game Boy chip tune. Does this sound familiar to you? Uh... Not quite. No? Ow! Heckin. Is that your life bar in the top left? Unfortunately. Nope. 
No, I cannot smack those. I thought maybe I could. I like that those die at least in one hit. Brewgraves is watching us. You want to read him? Oh, a new customer. Uh, you know fire hurts and spikes stab. Yes, I know. What happened? I almost died just there. Strictly speaking, you did. Huh? But how? Uh, my name is Quarble. Quarble? At your service. I'm one of you never would have met. Had you any skills. Ouch. Uh. The gist of it is, I have a magic ring that allows me to control space and time. So whenever you are about to die, I will appear to stop everything and teleport you back to the latest checkpoint. Okay. What's the catch? Well, for one, you will still feel agonizing pain every single time. Uh. Also, I'm keeping track of your debt in my little notepad. Oh, no. So I'll stick around to steal your loot. Until then, we're even. Or I am bored. Until we're either even or bored. Nice. Um. I mean, I can let you die if you prefer. <laughs> uh. It seems we have a deal. Glad to see eye to eye. You're glad to see eye to eyes. Carry on then. Meet Corbel. Alright. Imagine going through the game not meeting this character at all. I wish I didn't have to sometimes. Oops. Ugh. Why is that so hard for me? There we go. Oh, he's stealing the loot! So he quite literally steals what you make until uh, he's satisfied. Oh my. Friggin. I know, right? I had a small panic. Hmm. Saving. Was oh, that a save point? Yes, oh. my favorite song in the game. Please don't touch the cabinet. Fine, I'll come touch to you. I mean, talk to you. Ah, the messenger. I wasn't expecting you so soon. What is this place? This is the shop. It doesn't look like a shop. Do I look like a shopkeeper? Uh. Anyways, so I'm this mystic character who will be monitor mentoring and supporting you on your epic quest to save the world. All you need to do is take the scroll to the top of the Fairway Mountain, where the three sages for my order will be waiting for you. Your order? Slow down. That was way too much text for one dialogue box. <laughs> <laughs> Look, just keep going eastwards, 
and make sure you grab all the time shards you see lying around. I can use them to upgrade your abilities and artifacts. <gasps> First one is on the house. Enjoy. You got the climbing claws. Press against walls while elborn to stick against them. Need anything? Need something? You know that um, the time shards look just like Rashan's time shards. Ooh. Devil's D, reduce Corvold's fine for saving your life by 50%. I love how expensive that is. Strike of the Ninja. Oh, that means I can unlock that by clicking that. Energy shuriken. I'm gonna click this one. And then I'll get this one next. Heading off to bed. Good night, Dread. Sleep well. Night, Dread. Uh, how do I back out? Need anything? Chat. Oh, you already told me what I need to use the climbing claws. Need anything? No! Ah! <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, climbing claws? Oh, yeah. You can press against the walls to cling to them. And then climb at your leisure. Makes sense. The way everything looks, it just felt like I should be able to do that. Yes, that's why John Guiden invented them decades ago. Who's John Guiden? <laughs> Never mind. Just an acknowledgement that I needed to get out of the way. Yeah? Who are you messaging? Uh, the sage is on the top of a mountain. I don't get it. Some will. What do you want to chat about? What's this place? Seriously, though, where are we? Curious, are we? In time, you'll come to realize what the question, or that the question is not where, but when. Uh. Mm -hmm. That's it. Listen, I know you're still new to this, but you you have to be pretty naive to anything other than cryptic information so early in your adventure. Uh. Wouldn't you rather be back into the action anyway? Just buy a health upgrade or something. Be on your way. <laughs> Kids these days. So, uh... Do you have any stories to share? I do want to hear a story. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Here's one for you. There once was a servant who didn't know how to read. The day came where his master asked him to read something for her, to which he replied, I'm sorry, my lady, I can't read. That reply immediately got him fired. Uh. <laughs> so he went out in the streets looking for tea in a tea house to relax and accept the bad news. When he couldn't find any, he reckoned he would probably just... He, wait, he probably wasn't the only one to wish there was a tea house in his small town. So he opened up his own. It really picked up, so he built many more. Became rich in the process. One day, his accountant asked him to review a piece of document, to which he replied he didn't know how to read. The accountant, who couldn't believe his ears, said, If you became a millionaire without even knowing how to read, just imagine where you would be if you could read. Oh, I don't I don't know exactly where I would be. No, I know I would. Replied. I, I I would be a servant. <laughs> the end. <laughs> uh, what? I don't see how this applies to my adventure. It doesn't. You asked for a story. <laughs> <laughs> More like the long version of when life gives you lemons. All right. Since you don't seem to appreciate the sharing of some clever material for your next party, I suggest you move along. What do you want to I freaking love this guy. <laughs> it, it was Rem, right? Yes. <laughs> okay.
Anyways. No. No. Oh, man. Nice. I need to know if there's anything up here. No, all right. I really wish my controller was working. Yeah, it seems to be a lot easier on the controller. No! <laughs> Jeez. Ah, there's a lot happening here. No, please. Two more hits and you're done for. I know. What? So if you go off screen, they come back? Uh... Good to know. I mean, I can see if you like leave like into like another area, but my goodness. I want that. Isn't this what happens in Mario? I don't know, maybe? In a lot of old indie games, probably? Nice. It just looks like I can go up here. No. What is that? Please don't tell me you can fly. Okay, good. I want it. Right, I forgot about that. It does not, oh no. Oh, heck. Save point. Hello, it's me. Hey, Winter, welcome back. You like my hello? Oh, already? Oh, I love this. Okay, cool. I was like, how do I go up? Okay, I cannot attack down here, though.
That sounds cool. I, I love that about some games. When you go underwater, it changes the, the music a little. Mm -hmm. When there's a break, I send a pic of Spud your way. Ah, oh, thank you. I'm excited to meet First Spud. First game I ever experienced that in was Banjo Kazooie. Rem likes that game. Heck you. And your cookies. Oh boy. Uh. gonna respawn anyway. Oh, hello. Ooh. Nice. Excuse you. Hey, shopkeep. I like how chat is grayed out. It's like, no. Yes, I want to upgrade a little bit there. Oh, it's so expensive. Power your attacks, letting you destroy enemy projectiles. You can even cloud step off of them. Heck yeah. Alrighty, we've got the first of every upgrade. That one will be next, I think. Yeah. It's the next most affordable. Whoops. Whoops. Need anything? No. Need something. Ooh, fairies. I have a feeling these are going to hurt me. I don't like the fact that that didn't like nothing. I'm glad that guy can't shoot it. Oh, yeah, shooting things. How do you restore that? Hero has descended from the heavens. Hey, hero. Got a new 14. Do it. close. And man, you really are loving this worm model, huh, Ashi? No, I thought I'm really lazy and somebody <laughs> redeemed it. Number one worm. Am I the number one worm? Yeah, the uh, fun thing is if you redeem any of my model changes, the likelihood of me changing it back is very slim, unless I'm, like, actively paying attention. Because, um... I'm, uh... I'm distracted with the game. 
I honestly forgot I was the worm until you said something. I need to clean up my keyboard one of these days. Yeah, mine's... I just want to get a new one. I've had this for about four years. Yeah, I've had mine for a while, too. It's, um... The, uh... Space key sticks sometimes. And that's unfortunately the jump button. Where am I? Oh. How is that? Attack your first enemy projectile. Nice. No. Save. Ah! I must save points, but it's so fun throwing stuff. Nothing wrong with that. I also like it when you guys throw stuff. They're very forgiving with heal items. Yeah, most game would be pretty brutal about that, especially like a side scroller like this. Ah, <laughs> oh, heck, no! Who could have guessed you would just fall like that? Now he's gonna take all my monies. Yeah, see. Oh, uh, okay. Get you know that clips through walls. Uh, excuse me. Yeah. Okay, he's gone. Also, cakey. It just shows that Drid would still love me if that was a worm. Number one worm? The number one worm? I just love seeing people use this model. What's this? Who, who, who dare? Who where? Who, who, who joined? Hello? Someone joined? Oh, hi, Uki. Why didn't she? Why? Oh, yep, there she is. Hi. Did you come to say I'm the number one worm? Hello? Oh, she's muted. Oh, hey, it's, uh, it's you. Girl in the party? I uh, guess so. I, I, I got distracted. It's okay. So. Number one worm. Number one worm. It seems Uki. I just came to say you're the number one worm and the number one webby. Hi. <laughs> you're my number one. So, it seems you're one to wander off in the beaten path. Or, yeah. What was that big green object? I don't know. I like how she's oh, just yeeted. You mean the, the thing that you just smashed instead of collecting? 
Uh, it's a power seal. There are other, many others like this one, but to be honest, I'm not really sure what they do. I can tell that you're finding them all optional. But if you're the kind of adventurer that likes to go for the extra challenge, you'll want to keep an eye out for hidden rooms. I like hidden rooms. Me too. And who knows? It may or may not unlock a overpowered upgrade. Anyway, I'll be in my shop. I guess I smashed it by accident. Okay, well, it looks like there's something I could break there, but it's not letting me, so I guess we're going out. Woo! I forgot about that! Oh, jeez. If someone's watching, you can pretend you just wanted to show them how I always have random contextual insults when you die. I mean, people are watching. <laughs> she just messaged me. She's like, hey, so that was an accident. We were trying to figure out what game you were playing. <laughs> That's pretty great. Well, if you, like, scroll over your name, it says The Messenger, Autumn Hills. Oh, she's on her phone. Oh, maybe it's different. Yeah, I don't mind if she joins in. Do the ookie pookie and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. It says The Messenger. That's fine. Let me see what it looks like on the phone. Oh, 10% left battery. That's not good. God, I feel like that update like killed my battery. Probably does. Oh, it just says the messenger on mobile. Oh, good. I just love that I immediately got a DM from her. I'm sorry. I'm like, you're fine. Oh, wait, I can't see the channel because... No! Wait, can't I deflect these now? Nice. Oh, shopkeep! Ooh, a treasure chest. Now, what's with the big mysterious chest? It appeared when you smashed your first power seal. You still need to smash 44 power seals to open that. Thanks. Probably just sitting like behind the desk. <laughs> just chilling. Nice. Oh, there's a chat option. What do you want to chat about? Level boss? Looks like you're almost at the end of this area. Did I forget to mention there is a giant leaf monster guarding the exit? Uh, you did? <laughs> uh, that look on your face. Don't worry, my dear adventurer. Leaf monsters only come out during the fall, uh, full moon. Uh. Oh, is it a full moon right now? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's... I didn't mean to... Well, good luck. Good luck? <laughs> I freaking love him. Uh. Well, uh, mm, I didn't... Good luck. Also, Winter, what is that emote? That's so cute. What is it? It looks like a face and clouds factory okay. emote. Factory emoji. I want to touch the cabinet. Please don't touch the cabinet. Oh. I already told you, the cabinet is off limits. That cabinet looks awfully familiar. Believe me, you're not ready for what's in there. Can you just barge into my lab and go through my stuff like you're in the place? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> There's no skeleton in there, I promise. Hey! Don't touch. 
It's empty anyways. Don't make me lock it. <laughs> Why don't you put that curiosity to good use in the outside world? And maybe, I don't know, save humanity? <laughs> if, you, if you touch that again, you'll have to sit through my boring story. I'm warning you, it is boring. <laughs> It's philosophical. <laughs> I'll even remove your ability to skip what I'm saying. <laughs> this is your last warning. I'm having fun with it though. Should I? Should I do it again? Mm -hmm. You better make sure you have some time ahead of you if you're going to touch that again. I don't know. It's tied to my keyboard on my phone. Oh, hey, I know that hooded character. Yes, you do, Eric. You asked for it. Didn't say I didn't warn you. You know, it gets pretty lonely out here. So I have a lot of time to think. The one thing that keeps me bugging, or one thing that keeps bugging me is this concept of happiness. Everyone seems to be looking for it. Some pretend to have it, but no one can really explain what it is. Hi, Eric. I think I finally cracked that code. You see, everyone has goals. So you think, oh, when I'm when I have this, I'll be happy. Or when I achieve that, I'll feel internal bliss. Some people are looking for love, for acceptance, while others simply just hope Devolver will assign them their kick-ass game. Yeah? From my perspective, sitting here at the end of time and being visited by countless travelers, I came to realize something very important. Goals don't make people happy. They defer happiness into the future to when the goal can be achieved or will be achieved. This can only fail because once you reach your goal, you're not the same person you were when you set out to achieve it. And what's more, your mindset is to chase something instead of enjoying what you have. So there you have it. Happiness is not a goal or a state. It's a system. You optimize your environments and cherry pick the people around you. So that's every day you just stoke to live in your own life. You don't need to defer any joys because you optimize the present moment. Now, I don't know whether that was cheesy or insightful or even just annoying, but I need you to optimize my own life. And that implies that you are, that you stop trying to open my cabinet. So I really hope I get bored you, so I bored you to death. Fine, I won't open it. Be lectured on happiness. You should see what I did to the last, to the last fella who got nosy. <laughs> hey, I <Nah>. heard that. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't touch the cabinet. Fine. <laughs> I'm done antagonizing him. Stony just smash 44 power seals. All right, that doesn't change dialogue. That was pretty funny, though. Oh, that was... Oh, goodness. I can't compose myself. I like him. Oh, no. I'm not ready. Oh, attack when the leaves are off. That's like leaf armor. Yeah. Oh boy, boss time. Boss is dead.
I just wanted to save. Forlorn Temple. That was quick. It's because um, it's the same boss that was in Sea of Stars. So I already knew the trick to it. So it's just the timing. Hey, buddy. Garden area. Worm is OP. Yes, worm is OP. Don't JK me. Oh, the smallest noodle! Spud and Juniper. I want to hold Spud. Let's me hold him. Also, Web, are you okay? Yeah. Waiting for you. Forlorn Temple, huh? That's a sad one. <laughs> How so? Haven't paid much attention during the history lessons, have you? Uh. Adventure types rarely do. I get it. So, the short of it is that four headed monster who would have killed you earlier if that cooler than you hero hadn't intervened. That's the Demon King. He brought me his armies to the human realm many centuries ago and destroyed their stronghold, forcing them to retreat into hiding. And he's been sitting on their throne ever since. You mean this is all that's left of the human legacy? For what it's worth, I'm sorry. No way! I'll go and take down that demon king right now! <laughs> you won't be the first to try. Web distracted by worm, yes. Well, I can't just stand by while some evil monster gloats over my people's misery. You're still too weak to consider taking on his even second in command. I'm going. <laughs> I bet you can't even make it to the entrance without falling into a pit. Watch me. <laughs> oh, I will. What do you want to chat about? Got any stories to share? Ah, uh, I need to get more freaking tissues. Yeah. You need to take a minute. I don't have any tissues oh. in my house. Toilet paper? That's what I've been using. Oh, bet. Do you have any stories to share? Of course, here's one for you. There once was a princess looking for a suitable husband. She sent an invitation to the neighboring princes, stating that the main trait was looking for was sensitivity. Contenders came and went, attempting to pass her test. You will be my guest tonight, the princess would explain. All I need you is to sleep on that pile of mattresses. Next morning, she would ask them how their night was. It's the, the pee. I had the best sleep of my life, each would reply, confident that it proved they didn't fear the dark or that they would be easy guests. <laughs> Excuse me. They prompt. They were all promptly dismissed. <laughs> Toilet paper, a poor man's tissue. Yes. One day, an especially sensitive prince reported he couldn't sleep at all. I don't know what's up with that pile of mattresses, he went on. It looked comfortable enough, but when I laid on it, it was like I had a fork stuck in my kidney. They got married the next day. <laughs> oh, everyone knows that story. There was a pee underneath the pile, and so that's someone who's extremely <laughs> sensitive wouldn't be able to sleep. Yes, but have you heard of what happened after? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. For the first few weeks, everything was amazing. The prince would always complain. Just the guy she asked for. When the soup wasn't too hot, it's the cutlery that was too cold. <laughs> but when the music wasn't too loud, the paintings were uninspired. And when the clothes weren't itchy, the poems were predictable. Until one day, just like that, it dawned on the prince princess that she was in a toxic relationship. Not only was her husband a drag, she had voluntarily picked him for exactly that reason. <laughs> it dawned on her, just like that, how this whole love story was nothing more than two people whose dysfunctions match like puzzle pieces. <laughs> Incredibly humble, 
uh, regal standards. She realized that she was the only constant in all her problems. Delved into personal growth and got a divorce. <laughs> she lived happily ever after. <laughs> the end. All right. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know the last time I had any tissues in my house. I love tissues. I'm going to have to get more soon because uh, I know uh, allergy season is around the corner. Yeah, allergy season is now. Oh, yeah, I guess you yeah, guys are shelf. Ooh. Oh, that's a big pile of crystals. Heck yeah. Be lootful and multiply. Destroy a big time shard. I did. Wow. That's a twist to the story. That is. I kind of liked it. Oh, that's what he meant by fall. Oh, catacombs. Oh, couldn't even jump. I'm upset about that, but it's fine. Oh, hello, cutie. Oh, you scared me. I thought you were an undead. Oh, what kind of creature are you? You never seen a Bobkin? Bobkin? We are a tribe of builders, technically very hardworking, but every one of us is cursed by a unique fear, which we are named after. What's your name? Necro. Uh, Necro, so you fear the dead and somehow ended up in the catacombs? Ironic, isn't it? I fell while trying to repair the temple ruins above and was instantly paralyzed by all this morbidity. Anyway, thanks for stepping me out of it. I really should get back to work. Alright. Catacombs are the worst in any game, almost. Oh boy. Whew. Hello. Nice. I have a feeling that skeleton's gonna jump up at me. Knew it. So this is a Metroidvania game, isn't it? Ooh, he runs when he sees you. Ah! My god, give me- Stop that! I'm going to die. Ugh. Thanks to you, I've accumulated 58 time shards so far. Jeez, I'm giving that guy a fortune. In opinion, I don't know. I think... Some games scared me. The level called the catacombs. That's fine. I keep forgetting I can smack his, uh... I need to get up there. You gotta climb. Just don't get squished. Or are you trying to get up in that little spot? That up there, I don't know. I 
don't think there's a way right now. You have to backtrack it on this game? I guess. It's hmm. the only way I can think of to get up there. <gasps> Wait, no, I got it. Oh! Where do you go? Took me a second. Mm. Good thing we uh, got rid of that little demon guy. Genius worm, I know. I'm the number one worm. Ah. Oh my god, I can't jump. Nice. Nailed it. Uh-oh. Where are you going? I think it caps at 200. I hope that's not poison. Hello, good sir. Need anything? Yeah, we're gonna chat. The, about the Demon King! Hey. How did that epic raid on the Demon King go? Uh. <laughs> did you manage to save the world and restore your people's honor? It's... It's not fair! The bridge was in shambles! Well, we wouldn't have such an adventure if you faced off against the big villain right away. Now would we? Karen area. Hey, you made it to the catacombs. Okay, anything I should know? Not really. It's pretty standard stuff. Skeletons. And bats. Oh, and evil wizards too? You bet. A necromancer even took over. Spooky. Cliched. <laughs> I suggest you get this area out of the way. There are more original ones lined up. What do you do here? So, what do you do here? I study magic. Can you teach me? Not really. Why not? Because you're not ready. <laughs> ready for what? For, ma <laughs> <laughs> for magic. Come on, you just asked. No, but I meant... <laughs> Believe me, learning magic is a lot harder than following a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> At first I read weed anything, yeah? What do you want to chat about? You got any stories to share? Do you have any stories to share? Of course. Here's one for you. There once was a poor old lady who had nothing in life. Save for small shack and a pear tree. Oh, no. Her name was Madame Misery. Her whole family ate misery. 
and sometimes there wasn't even enough misery to go around. One day, she was visited by a starving beggar, who asked whether she had any food to spare. She didn't, but her heart was a big as her situation was unfortunate. So she served the beggar a few clumps out of the tasteless broth that she had in her simmering, then in invited him to help himself for a few pears. The beggar removed his cloak, revealing himself as a deity. Mm. He was disguised as a beggar to see whether there was any kindness left in the world. Touched by Madame Misery's generosity, he offered to grant her a wish. Let me guess, she didn't want anything, and it's a moral about living fru frugally. No, no. This is good. Let me continue. <laughs> <laughs> she mentioned a lot of people were stealing her fruits, which jeopardized her chance to eat every day. Her wish was simple. An enchant enchantment on her pear tree so that it would trap anyone who stole from it until she decided to free them. The divine visitor granted her a wish and... Time went by and she scolded many thieves, but soon realized that most of them were starving children. She decided to take it upon herself to feed, educate them, and soon become the pillar of a thriving new generation. Aww. Ever happy and generous, Madame Misery got so old that her face looked like an elephant's knee. <laughs> <laughs> and then one day, death came for her. Uh. Death, following the protocol inquired about her last request. I would like to eat one last pear tree, or pear from my tree, she said. Would you be kind enough to grab one for me? Ha! Death climbed into the tree to grab a pear, getting trapped in the process. The old lady decided to never let death out of the trap, and since there were, there has been mis- Every- Oh gosh. And since there had, has been misery in the world, the end. Ah. Uh, Fuck. Tra trap death, right? What's the moral? Being selfless justifies being selfish later? Uh. Yeah, she cheated death. Generosity begets misery? Uh, I don't know. It's a fairy tale for kids. I just thought the, the idea of trapped death in a pear tree was interesting. <laughs> I like him. Oh my goodness. I think I need this one. Dropping something that restores a hit point seems way more worth it. Ooh. Losing weight, gaining pound. Five upgrades in the shop. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Back from Lurk. Hello, hello, Eric. How's it going? Yeah. It's going. How are you two? Oh, you know, it's going. Finer than frog hair. How are you? Excuse me. I smashed it again. Ah. 
I don't like spikes. You can tell because I keep jumping out. God, I can't get air like the underwater teams. Ah. Uh, I my freaking space key got stuck. <laughs> Web. One fall in the spikes a day keeps your spine not okay. Oh man, that brought us back. Oh, uh, did I not get the key then? You still need oh, to I got it. Nice. Power. Oh, shoot. Okay. So that's saved. The music in this game is good. I should have got the zoom. It's fine. I have a feeling that's going to start chasing me as soon as I jump up. Yep, I called it. How many how many deaths have you had so far? Three or four? Count. Five. A few. Save point. Cool, so there's nothing in there. Oh no. are gonna get you. He's gonna take a tumble. Sorry, I got someone messaging me about emotes. Uh... Make any emotes? Yeah. Would be popular. So what would the game say if you get squished? 
Honestly, I don't know, but I don't know if I want to find out. I even need those shards. I have a feeling that would laugh at me. I'm like, you couldn't even dodge that? What's wrong with you? I honestly don't have it in me to be taken, making fun of by a freaking little demon thing. Finding out is half the fun. No. Do you like madness? You do. If it wouldn't mean summoning the little devil thing again, I might consider it. But I want to be made fun of. Oh no, boss battle? Once when I was seven years old, I sat on the banana. And of course, that changed my life. Yeah? Hmm? Oh, did I say that out loud? Yeah. Sitting on a banana changed your life? Indeed. Nice. I need a save point real badly. No! The timing with the boss appearance was perfect. It was. I was honestly a little confused. I was like, what? Did he really just say that to me? No! Ah! If anyone asked, I'm taken. Nobody cares. You never really care when I take all your stuff. Oh, God, you make me nervous. Ow. Ugh. That would be funny if they had made a mod or bosses had meme voice lines. That would be very funny. Just so you can't say I'm always negative. Go, messenger! You can do it! Thanks. I don't know. That honestly makes it a little worse. I don't need your pity. Your sympathy cheers.
It'd be funny. Oh no. Rude bats. They were rude. I like to get all the crystal jammy things I can. You know, I'm something of a collector myself. Honestly, mood. Also, upgrades are nice. Heck you. Save point. Yay. Ready and Oh. Ah! Uh, no! Perfect timing! It was my turn to buy around. Yeah. I wish I had like a. Like a pie or something. I want pie. <laughs> I want cake. I don't have anything here to make a cake. I can make frosting. Can we have cakey in the chat? Paycheck always feels good, but at this point, I mostly see the work. Yeah. Uh. I hate falling. You're fine. Oh. 
trying to see how many he takes before he's satisfied. I don't know if it's random or... Oh, okay. I think there's a time limit. I was going to say, it must be. Mama Starshine, how's it going? Mama Starshine, welcome in to... Wait, wait, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. You're tuning into Starlight Radio. Give me life. Give me a health check, please. I don't want this. Give me health. You're gonna, you're gonna get like your health full, and you're gonna get health packs for no reason. Need anything? Chat. Oh boy. Level boss. I believe you have reached the necromancer's doorstep. Any advice? Very little is known about this villain. Okay, so no advice? Dodging anything that looks evil magic would be a good start. <laughs> ha, wow, great help. Well, I also recommend looking at my inventory for any useful upgrades. I really appreciate all the support. All we know for now is that he plans on taking you over the world with his undead army. All we know? Sorry, I meant I. All I know. <laughs> uh-huh. I'm totally on my own here. <laughs> uh-huh. What do you want it to chat about? <laughs> Nothing with you. <laughs> Need anything? Uh, Rem was right. <laughs> right? I'll take this instead. Serpendipidus, this Please don't touch the cabinet. <laughs> Forty-three still. Oh joy! Why is my cursor as a hammer? Because you can smack me if you wanted to. Smack the worm. And with the army of the undead, everyone will soon fear the mighty Ruxton. Um, what now? You have a visitor. Ugh, I don't have time for visitors. Well, he seems to have time for you. Oh, whoops. It's okay. Oh, great. Just when you think you can get to play with your evil lab. Do I have to remind you who's in charge here? Uh, I think I smacked you over 60 times? Rude! Don't smack my worm! <laughs> now say something threatening and try not to embarrass us like you did last time. Oh! 
I've been practicing. Watch this. Whoops. <sighs> oh, he's tiny. <clears throat> Who dares enter my lair? Uh oh. Is that the messenger? Looks like it. What do we do? Steal the scroll, of course. Good plan. On guard, face the almighty knight of Ruxton the Great. Ow. Ah. Uh -huh. No. Now, ah! Ah. admit it, you did that just because you wanted to see me. Maybe, not really. Nobody likes you. Ah! <laughs> no one you to fight the boss with me. <laughs> wow, they changed up the battle. Nice. Defeat the Necromancer. Easy, easy. Uh, I yield. Wait, I don't. It's over. This evil thing is clearly not working out for me. No matter how many skulls we slap on ourselves. Any suggestions then? I'm listening. I don't know. Just something else. Like what? Interest introspection would be a good start. What has always brought us, really? Ridiculous. I'm sticking to evil. Oh, yeah? Well, how are you going to accomplish anything if I'm not carrying you? Well, I, I could. That's... Yeah, that's a good point, actually. It's settled, then. Carry on, messenger. We promise not to cause the world any harm. Thanks. Huh. Alrighty. Bamboo Creek. Bamboo Creek. No! 
Did someone tell you that that was a secret passage? My brother used to do that. Maybe they did. Thirty already. It's crazy, huh? Eric says hi to the salty Nana. Shopkeep. Need anything? What do you want to try that? Bamboo Creek. That must be a sight for sore eyes after you trek in the catacombs. Sure is. Do you make the best of it? This place is as close to a day off as you'll ever get on this adventure. I'll, uh, I'll try. I just didn't know something so cheerful existed. Uh, <laughs> Guess that says more about your mindset than about the world. What do you uh, want to chat about? Time shards. So what are these crystals that I'm collecting? So you're a touch of the unidentified magic object. First and ask questions later kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, though, same. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> They're time shards. I can use them to augment your abilities. How does that work? Exactly the way we've been doing it so far. You select what you want and give me the required amount of shards so I can give you my so I can do my thing. I meant the spell itself. Yeah, it's complicated. But I'm curious. Uh, and I'm busy. <laughs> what do <laughs> So you're not busy, about? too busy to tell me a story, but you're too busy to tell me about the time shards? Tell me a story. <laughs> you got any stories you want to share today? Of course I do, but now's not the time. Why not? You're in Bamboo Creek. This is as sunny as it gets here in this cursed world. So? So I suggest you take the opportunity to play outside. Uh. Bye now. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. Oh, God. <laughs> I love Webb's laugh. He does have a good laugh. Uh, this game is amazing. I don't know how I haven't played this before. I feel like a lot of games have slipped under my radar. And that's what we're doing this for. No! This is Bamboo Creek. Web laugh compilation? That's a lot of clipping, but if somebody wants to do it, by all means. Hey. I'm not gonna say no. He does have a good laugh, though. Tee -hee. My sister wants a compilation of my um outtakes from yesterday's uh 
song cover because bear kept making uh bear noises during my recordings and it was honestly pretty funny nice Noise. Yeah. Noise. I love these random turtley dudes. Ooh, what the heck are you? Alrighty, looks like you can just kind of farm them. Uh. Excuse me. No! Oh, hello, random samurai dude. How's it going? Ow! Looks like you're hurting there a little bit. Just a wee, wee bit. Save point. Hey, <laughs> sir. Need anything? Okay, we can almost get the underwater dash. Oh, I need that one. Meditation. I think I have to unlock both of these first, though. Alrighty. Okay. I think we should stop here. <laughs> this is getting late. <clears throat> it's almost 11. Don't want to get into anything juicy. Yeah. Just in case. Because uh, I'm already tired from yesterday. Oh, I don't blame you. So let's find somebody to raid while keeping my favorite song in the background. Oops, let me change my background real quick. There we are. Space worm. Space worm. Okay, so I'm gonna have to pull up uh, Twitch on my phone because if I tab out of the game It stops the music and I like this music Sky tomorrow, yes Alrighty, there's a lot of people online
Have a good nighty, everybody. Mm. Ooh, my friend Asant is playing a game. Lethal Company. Haven't raided Lethal Asant in a while. Company. Lethal Company. Lethal Company. Yeah, I haven't seen him in a little bit. So we shall raid him today. Wait, hold on. Let's let's get the the raid going first before everybody says goodbye. There we are. Okay. So we're gonna raid Asant. There's our raid message. Okay, everybody. We will see you on Wednesday for the um the uh whatever I end up playing on stream on Wednesday. I don't know yet. But I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Remember to dig deeper, reach higher, get lots of rest. I'm posting songs every day on Twitch or Twitter, uh, YouTube, and TikTok. So if you want to hear me singing poorly, follow one of those. <laughs> okay, guys. Have a good nighty. Bye bye. Good night. <laughs> Jamming out as a noodle. Makes me a little dizzy. Okay, good night. <laughs>